Hello everyone, we're going to work on a heat transfer problem. Here's uh, the description of the problem. Please take a second and uh, read through it. And to sum it up, what they want, they want us to find the overall heat transfer coefficient, the UC, for two different scenarios. First scenario, we have a simple tube. And in the second scenario, we have a simple tube, but we have a bunch of fins on them. We have a hot gas blowing over the tubes in both cases, and we have cold uh, fluid inside the tube that will uh, facilitate the heat transfer from hot to cold. All right, let's get started. Up here we can see a little reminder if we forgot what these abbreviations stand for. Now, we're going to start with the overall heat transfer coefficient formula. We see that it has several components. And out of these, we're going to use only this one and this one. You see, we're going to use because that's the one that they are asking for. On the right hand side, we can see we have five different components. Now, just as a quick review, what they stand for, this one is the convection on the interior for us, because that's the cold side. Then we have the fouling on the cold side, on the interior. Then we have the uh, resistance as the energy would go through the wall itself of the tube. Now we arrive to the hot side. So this is the fouling on the hot side and the convection on the hot side. Okay, these are our five components in this formula. Here we can see it rewritten with uh, the two components that we don't need just uh, thrown out. They did not give us any information for fouling, therefore we can go ahead and neglect it in this example. Now I'm going to take this formula and I will multiply it by AC, the area of the cold side. Therefore, we can reduce it and simplify it a bit so we can get a UC easier when the time comes. Also, this RW, what is that? Most likely in your textbook, it will be in the chapter where you, they went through cylindrical walls or radial systems. This problem is uh, from a heat, uh, heat exchanger uh, chapter, but you will find the formula for this guy back in uh, the cylindrical wall section. Here's the formula. Okay, here we can see plugged in everything that we figured out so far. This, the radial uh, wall formula, I'm going to change it from having uh, radiuses to having diameters. Also, the area we can calculate it for the cold side this way right here. After we plug everything in, we can see that quite a few things will cancel out. And now we can see this is what we have left. Let's take a look at our effectiveness right here and right here. At this uh, first uh, uh, scenario, we do not have fins. Therefore, on the cold side and on the hot side, this will be equal to 1. After we plug in 1 here and here, we can see this is what our formula simplif simplifies down to. We can take a uh, little quick look and we can see that every single item we have. Therefore, all we have to do, plug in. And we can find our first question, where the UC will be equal to 249 watts per meter square Kelvin. And this is without fins scenario. Now, we're going to go back to the beginning and start all over again. And find the UC for the second scenario, where the tube has a bunch of fins on them. And by a bunch, I mean 16. They told us right here, 16 straight fins. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, and this formula is already in the form where I canceled out the following factors, right? They Because we know we don't have them. And here I also have the radial system already plugged in. Good. Now, 
the effectiveness on the cold side for the fin it will be still one because we did not put any fins on the cold side but on the hot side we have fins now therefore we will have to use the appropriate formula for it now these are areas area of the fin and this is total area but in this problem they did not give us any information how long these tubes are therefore we can go ahead and rewrite this formula on a per unit length basis so these two areas will be basically divided by the length of this tube which we don't know therefore it will help simplify it out also another information that's important we need to note that they didn't tell us any kind of information about the tips of these fins therefore we're going to assume adiabatic fin tips right here plug in the effectiveness what we discovered so far into our uh, overall heat transfer coefficient formula here it will be one so it'll just disappear and here we plug in our formula now we can't find our overall heat transfer coefficient yet because we have three unknowns let's start working on these first area of the fin right here we have a little sketch we can see the area of the fin what we're talking about is this top surface area and the other surface area at the bottom which pretty much mirrors this one right and the surface of the tip also we're going to multiply these by 16 that's the number of our fins because this is going to include all the fin surfaces right here and again we need per unit length basis therefore the length of the tube we're simply going to divide out of it and there it is also area this is the total area that we are dealing with on the outside of this tube including the fins so area for us is the hot side area now how are we going to calculate this the area of the fins which we already found here right area of these fins plus the area that's between the fins so this section going all the way to the other fin and this section going all to the other fins and all the way around this one we found it'll be right here this one we can calculate like this basically all that it is is the outside uh, circumference of the tube minus 16 times the thicknesses of the fins we divide this part right because this is still not on the per unit length basis we'll turn it into per unit length basis therefore both of these are that way same units we can add them up and we can find the correct value for it right here 561.7 millimeters good these two are taken care of this effectiveness of the fin is the last thing that is still remains the formula for it is the heat transfer from the fin divided by the maximum heat transfer that would be possible in a perfect scenario this is the formula for it now for this guy right here qf since we assumed adiabatic tip most likely in your textbook you will have a table where you can take this formula out of capital m and lowercase m are given right here there are also formulas that come out of your uh, textbook we can go ahead and plug them in into our formula right here on the top and this one also for this guy we can see that we do not have lowercase m so let's go ahead and use the formula that we had on the previous page simplify it a bit we can see that we have all the components plug them in and here's the value for it all we need to do is actually calculate 0 0.778 and we can come up here and plug it in now if we take a look at our overall heat transfer coefficient formula all good to go plug in all the values that we have calculate uc will be 1138 watts per meter squared kelvin and as a quick look let's see with 
with fins and without fins. We can see that there's quite a difference from 249 to 1138. All right, these are the two answers for this problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.